Hey all, Aaron Stell here. Wanted to just walk you through this month's client advantage. I know I've had a couple of people ask, actually just starting kind of yesterday uh, when we were rolling it out. And we did wait, um, and the purpose was we had so many both internal WFG people and external clients that were out for the full 4th of July week um, and are just now kind of getting back into kind of the swing of things. We thought we'd have more impact and effect with it if we rolled it out now. So with that being said, uh, you know, this was a kind of a tricky month because I read probably somewhere between 30 and 40 articles uh, looking at, you know, different housing statistics and metrics. I was looking at consumer confidence. I was looking at consumer behavior. And there were, there were all of these metrics around that you know, really at the end of the day, we're showing that we have somewhat of kind of a stagnant market out there right now. And so what we're looking for is, you know, what can we do to get out in front of, you know, those clients that are trying to figure out what they want to do right now. And really one metric and one question just kept coming up over and over again. First off, the question is, you know, when are housing prices going to fall? And the short answer to that is they really aren't. And the reason is, is we are way down still on inventory. So there are still, you know, there's price appreciation or at least a good flat number. So what we wanted to do with this month, I'll go ahead and start sharing for you here. You know, what we wanted to do with this month's uh, client advantage is, you know, really go through and give a mid-year update so people could see like, hey, this is what's happening, you know, inside of the real estate world. And so, you know, the mid-year update, we're going to further explain how housing prices are not going to drop. That's not something we're going to see. And that was basically universally accepted across pretty much all of the experts out there, you know, at least kind of analyzing what happened in the first half of this year, is that the second half of the year was going to stay somewhat similar in regards to, to price. Um, one huge number that stood out over and over again, and I know we've talked about this a lot internally as a company, and Noah, you know, president here at Oregon, um, even went through and was able to say, you know, with some certainty, if you're looking at the seasonally adjusted average new listings, you know, we're going down, I believe we're going to be probably finishing somewhere around 27,000 in the, in the Portland metro area, you know, down from 35, I believe it was, you know, the, the year before. And what we're seeing is, you know, this drop of 25.7% new listings year over year is a huge amount, you know, that's a, it's a, you know, it's a quarter really. And so, you know, that's what's keeping prices up. That's what's keeping them inflated. And so we wanted to put that out. And, and the nice thing for your clients this time is they don't have to do any like special calculations or math or anything like that to execute on it. I would read this article. It has all of the data, um, but you don't really need to do anything other than basically create yourself or get yourself familiar with how is the market? Because that's kind of what this question is doing. Um, the leverage, you know, it's the two questions everyone's asking right now. When are rates going to drop and when are housing prices going to drop? And what we're seeing with both of those is that rates are staying, you know, somewhat same. They're going up a little, down a little. You know, I, I read multiple articles from different experts and they all kind of think it's going to stay somewhat flat. Some said maybe go a little bit down toward the end. Of your, some have said it would maybe go up a little bit, um, kind of depending on what the Fed did. And so, so really what we need to do is we need to execute on you know, what's happening right now. And so that's that's the whole purpose behind this campaign. So what I now want to show you is the actual piece that we put together here. And, you know, if we're looking at the piece, um, you know, it is called the mid-year update. We want to start with the catchy subject line. You know, you know there were 25.7% fewer what? And if you dive into the next piece, we tie that in together and we say like, look, I continually get asked, which is the question that everyone's getting asked right now, when are housing prices going to drop? And this 27 or 25.7% number basically shows it's not, or at least it's not anytime soon. Um, so the, the thing we always want to do is tie it back to, okay, what does this mean for them, the client? And that's the, the homeowner or home buyer. Um, you know, if they're looking to sell, they're not going to have a lot of competition. So they could still potentially, if they're priced right, get multiple offers and get, you know, money over the actual selling price. If you're a buyer, the thing is, is there's not going to be a lot of inventory out there. So it may take some time to find that perfect home. So once again, the goal of the client advantage is to create conversations through value. And so at the bottom, that's where we really want to tie it back and say like, look, if you're going to do anything inside of the next 12 to 18 months, 
we need to start planning now. Create that urgency and let them know that like, hey, this isn't something where we flip the switch tomorrow and we're ready to go. There is, there is some need for planning based on what's currently happening in the market. With that said, we do, as always, have our text alternative. Um, you know, you can throw out the what's everybody asking. So when are, are you wondering when your home's value going to drop? You know, that's the, the kind of the lead in to get people to reply back. They'll be like, absolutely. Then you can dive in with the good news and see if you can jump into a bigger conversation with them. We do have social, uh, we, and I have a couple of different pictures here, but social alternatives with this as well. So we'll have you know, the, the big number, 25.7% to grab their attention. Then you can dive into, okay, if you want to do anything, now is the time to act. Now is the time to start talking in order to have you prepared for what comes next. So then we'll just dive into the last of the pieces, which is the document itself. Um, once again, showed you the numbers. This is what you saw on the actual client advantage piece. Um, and then we've got down here, here are your text message alternatives, your social copies. So you can just quick copy and grab that. So I hope that helps everyone. Hopefully this gets some conversation started for both your clients and the, the your clients with you. And then also your clients with their clients as in buyers and sellers. Um, if you have any questions, please do reach out.